everyone! Welcome back! Before we start the video, I feel like I need to give you an explanation of why I haven't been posting so often. You will have seen in my last postings that I went to Brazil. I spent two weeks there to see family, friends, new babies, go to weddings, all that good stuff. And I thought I had planned everything out very well and that I would be able to shoot content in advance for you guys, but I'm just a mess and I didn't manage to do it, so I'm sorry. Bad YouTuber, but I'm back. The reason why I'm only posting once this week and why I will only post once again next week is because I actually got COVID the day I got back and my voice just wasn't there. I couldn't speak, I was coughing a lot, so I thought instead of just forcing it and making a video that I wasn't really 100% behind, I would just wait a little bit, get better, and then shoot the content. So you will see my voice is still a little bit, you know, on the graspy side, but I am sure that these are the last days and soon I'll be able to go back to my normal life and live in society. So today I am going to do a video that many of you have asked. I'm not sure if I'm the best person to talk about this, which is the marvelous world of fragrances. And the reason why I say I'm not the best person to comment on fragrance is because I don't know a lot about it. I know there are a lot of channels here on YouTube. I just found one that is called Jules de Rose that it's just amazing. The girl that does it is a super expert. She knows all about the notes and the chemistry behind perfume and the science. I just smell fragrance, see if I like it. If I like it, I buy it. If I don't, I don't. But I thought I'd share anyway. I'm going to show you perfumes that I like, some home fragrances, my husband's favorite perfume that I like on him, and some body products. First one is a fragrance that I actually talked about in the past, which is Yves Saint Laurent Blues. This is part of their Le Vestiaire des Parfums collection, which is a little bit more special, the ingredients are a little bit more noble, and the fragrances do have more personality to them. This is the perfect scent if you love rose. It is so beautiful. I love how it's rosy, very rosy, but it's not powdery or sweet, so it doesn't make you nauseous, it just makes you smell like a beautiful flower. I have my nose here because I don't know what I'm doing. So the top notes are bergamot and pink pepper, which I guess is a great combination to counterbalance the floral element of rose, making it a little bit fresher and a little bit more, you know, punchy. And the heart note is rose. It also has some white musk and some cashmere added to it, which I guess adds a little bit of warmth to it and helps with the longevity of the fragrance, which with rose can be a problem. I have tested a lot of rose perfumes and many of them just evaporate during the day. This one stays with you and it's just heavenly. This is one that I have been wearing forever, actually since I think like eighth grade or something. I saw this in my best friend's mom bathroom when I was at her house. I secretly smelled it and was completely obsessed. It's called Perle de la Lique. You can see that it is almost done. The packaging is super pretty. I have a thing with packaging as well. So if a perfume has tacky packaging, I'm probably not going to buy it. But if it is beautiful like this, that can be displayed and you know makes me happy every morning, I'm down to it. It's extremely fresh and clean, but in a different way. I think this is the last spritz that is here. Let's see. It has a bit of floral on it, which I really do love, but a lot of freshness. It feels like the sort of perfume that you can wear over and over and over again and never get tired of it. And you can put it on, pile it on, and still won't feel like too much. And I didn't know why it had that effect on me, but then I looked up the notes and surprise, surprise, there's rose in it. 
So top notes are Bulgarian rose and anise, which is apparently the root of an iris variation. The hard notes are bourbon pepper and patchouli, and the dry down notes are cashmere wood and tonka beans. So very beautiful, breezy, delicious fragrance. Now we move to a very serious, punchy rose fragrance, which is Aqua di Parma Rosa Nobile. You guys, this is embarrassing. I have been editing the video and I want to kick myself in the butt because I have been saying the name of this fragrance wrong for my whole life, basically. I have actually been in love with Aqua di Parma's Rosa Nobile for a really long time, even before I learned Italian, so that is why I butchered the name every time I say it. I swear, Italians, I know how to speak your language, barely, but this name I just cannot memorize correctly. You'll have to forgive me. The rosier fragrance that I've ever smelled, it is even a little more serious in terms of how it feels on the skin. It has the freshness of a floral, but it's deeper. I save this for special occasions. I try not to wear this maybe if I'm going to go on a bus or on the subway because it is a little more pungent. I don't know if that's a positive thing to say about a fragrance, but the smell of it is absolutely gorgeous. So I saved this for going out to dinner. I wore this to my wedding actually, so it also brings me very special memories, which is something that fragrances usually do. It feels warmer, a little bit more complex than the other ones that I showed you. The top notes are tangerine, calabrian, bergamot, and pepper, which you will find is very common with Aqua di Parma fragrances because they are Italian after all. And that citrusy, just like the blues from Yves Saint Laurent, gives it more of a round smell instead of just being floral and powdery and too delicate it just finishes off the fragrance with a little bit of a citrusy note which i think really helps it out hard notes have a lot of floral so rose peony violet and lily of the valley and the base notes have musk cedarwood and amber green so very beautiful fragrance very well constructed special i would consider this a special fragrance now that the weather is getting a little bit warmer and you are fantasizing about getting on a boat in the amalfi coast and sailing away while eating some beautiful fruit and getting dripped by the sun this is the fragrance that is going to transport you to that perfect moment. It is Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. This is a classic for a reason. Tom Ford fragrances are, again, very well thought out and complex, and they kind of give you that transportative characteristic that flat, kind of boring fragrances don't. I smell this and... I'm there, like Positano, maybe a white bathing suit, having some Prosecco, living my best life. <laughs> and the great thing about this fragrance is that it is in a way kind of similar to the Perle de la Lique, which is the freshness, the easiness of wearing it. You don't feel like you are adding heaviness to the scent, it is just going to wear beautifully and every time that you smell your wrist or a whiff of your hair you will get that beautiful breezy feeling this is actually unisex like many of the tom ford fragrances my husband wear this a lot as well the top notes are bergamot mandarin orange lemon bitter orange lavender and rosemary which you just goes to show how many italian inspired ingredients are in here Middle notes are African orange flower, neroli, jasmine, and pittosporum, which gives it a little bit of warmth and goes really well with those citrusy notes. And the base notes are amber, musk, and angelica. I do think that this would please a lot of people. It seems to be a very popular fragrance because it is very democratic. So maybe if you want to give someone a fragrance, which can be a little bit risky, this would be 
be a safe bet. Moving on to body scents. I love to feel like I am at a spa when I am applying body products and there is nothing that smells more like a spa than Caudalie products. Their fragrances are so beautifully made. I love how they always add grapes to their composition. So you will always get that hint of grape, but they do add some other things like eucalyptus, rosemary, those very fresh lemony scents that make the experience of putting on moisturizer or oil or exfoliating way more pleasant. I've talked about this, I am very lazy with body products, so if they smell good, it already helps me to be a little bit more diligent and disciplined about actually giving attention to my body skin. And this is just beautiful, not only smells good, but very hydrating and easy to apply. When it comes to home fragrances, I think we need to be very careful because home fragrances can be a great addition to your home, but it can also ruin the environment you're in, especially if you live with other people or if you receive people in your house. You want to make sure that you're not choosing a fragrance that might be too specific because maybe you like that, but the other people that will be in that environment don't. So something that I really love to do is to go out with my husband and have a sort of sniffing experience. That doesn't sound right. That sounds like drugs. We go to Zara home or we go to a department store and we just try different home fragrances together and reach sort of a deal of what type of fragrance we want. And that is what happened with Zara Home's Bergamot Rose and Leather. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. It has that sort of gingery, sort of spicy back note. The terminology here is very professional, but you also get a little bit of rose, which is my favorite scent ever, and a little bit of leather, which will give you that more masculine note. So whenever I light this up, my husband starts sniffing around and he says, mm, what smells so good? The candle you chose. And I have the candle, which is great for a more subtle uniform fragrance. And we also got the little diffuser, which is more punchy and more effective in spreading the smell. And I do feel like maybe having a scent for your house adds an extra layer of luxury to your day-to-day, -day, which we always want and always forget about. You can see that it is almost over, need to get another one. And to wrap up this video, this is the fragrance that I love when my husband wears. So if you have a man in your life that you want to gift a fragrance to, I think this is a great option. It is Aqua di Parma Oud. This is the old packaging. I think I gifted this to my husband a long time ago. And this just goes to show how high quality and potent Aqua di Parma's fragrances are because they last for a really long time. You don't need much and they are very effective. This is just phenomenal. I mean, there's one thing that I hate is those men fragrances that smell like deodorant, like sports deodorants. This is way more grown up, confident, elegant, masculine scent. They also have a leather fragrance that is just divine. It's so well made. You can smell the chicness. <laughs> of it and you can already imagine the man that wears this type of fragrance. He knows the difference between the many types of wool that you can make a suit with. He knows his Barolos from his Barbarescos. He, he's just that guy. They describe this as an intense, vigorous and precious fragrance that captures the warmth of its rare essence. 
an artistic combination sublimed by luminous citrus notes that bring together the richness of the Aquilaria trees agar woods with notes of Russian coriander and Haitian Amiris wood. So very woodsy but still has that complexity that Aqua di Parma is very famous for. The Russian coriander I think also adds a little bit more of that different feature and personality. If you are afraid that this might be a little bit too, you know, specific and risky to give to someone. My husband also has the Colonia Club fragrance from Aqua di Parma, which is that more fresh, easy to wear fragrance that is also very beautiful and just smells very elegant even though it is a little bit more casual. So if you are in doubt, go for that one. But if the man in your life wants something a little bit more special and a little bit more chic, this collection is fabulous. This is it everyone. These are my favorite fragrances. Thankfully, COVID didn't take my sense of smell away because this has been a gorgeous experience of just smelling my favorite perfumes. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, found it fun if not helpful, and we'll see each other again next time. Bye!